Imagine losing $500 million in an instant. That's exactly what happened to James Howell. A man who had accumulated 8,000 bitcoins when it was just $3.78 each in 2009, only to lose the hard drive containing them all. Mr. Howells is a Welsh computer software programmer and a well-known miner in the world of cryptocurrency. He was one of the first five persons in the globe to be operating Bitcoin mining software. Over the year, the value of Bitcoin has increased significantly and it reached its all-time high of $69,000 per Bitcoin. So, if James still held the BTC it would be worth nearly $500 million. But this isn't just a story of a man losing a fortune. It's a tale of determination, perseverance, and the extent one will go to recover what they've lost. Let's begin with the story. In the midst of summer 2009, James was planning to go on a vacation with his wife Hafian, though he thought of decluttering his home office and upgrading his computer equipment before going out on a trip. All the, the, the files that I believed I needed were already on my new computer. Um, the drive was in a, in a drawer on its own. Um, after an incident with a, a previous laptop, and I thought that I'd, I'd, I'd taken off everything I needed. Eventually, he decided to get rid of his old computer parts that were no longer in use. As he was a miner and he had mined those Bitcoin in the past and had stored them on the hard drive. James had no idea that one of the hard drives he was throwing away contained his private key, which has a unique code that grants access to his Bitcoin stash. He didn't think much of it at the time, as he believed the hard drive was blank and had no important information on it. Yeah, there's a specific file on that hard drive uh, called a wallet file, which the Bitcoin is stored in. Um, and without that file, uh, there is no way of getting the money back. The next day, his wife Hafina took the garbage to the landfill without James paying much attention to it. Later, they went on a vacation to Cyprus and forgot about the hard drive. However, a couple of months later, when James came across a BBC News story about a 29-year-old Norwegian man, who had just used Bitcoin to purchase a $400,000 apartment in Oslo. After hearing this news, James started to search out his hard drive which contained 8,000 mined Bitcoin. After hours of searching he finally recalls that he might have thrown the hard drive in the trash. With the loss of the hard drive, he even lost $500 million worth of fortune today. I mean, I didn't take it out. It stayed in the uh, in the bin and then came down to the landfill site here with, with the other bags that I brought. Being a Bitcoin miner, he was well aware of the potential that Bitcoin holds. He was knowing that to gain that amount of Bitcoin back, there was only one solution, which was through mining. Initially, when Mr. Howells mined those 8,000 bitcoins, the number of miners was much lower as he was one of only five on the network. I was involved in Bitcoin in early 2009. I was one of the first five people in the world to be running the software. In 2009, the difficulty of mining Bitcoin was much lower than it is today, and the rewards for mining each block were 50 BTC. So, to mine 8,000 BTC in 2009, you would need to mine 160 blocks. At the time that I mined them, they weren't worth nothing. They cost me the electricity to run my computer in order to mine. During that time, to mine one block, you needed about 8 pounds of electricity for your computer. So, with the intention of recovering the lost bitcoins, he set up his gaming laptop to mine bitcoins overnight. He engaged in nighttime mining for a few couples of months, on and off. However, this time mining used a lot of computing power, which overheated the laptop. A few days later, his wife became so annoyed by the computer's spinning fan that she stopped mining and forgot all about the hard drive. He didn't think about it again until he saw how much the value of Bitcoin had grown, and he realized that he had lost not just a hard drive, but a fortune worth millions of dollars. Seeing the value of my coins, and I'm just like... This realization hit him hard, and he started his search to find the hard drive. Despite knowing the hard drive had ended up in the landfill, where his wife had taken the trash, he was determined to locate it. He started by researching the landfill site and trying to pinpoint the exact location, where the hard drive may have been disposed of. He then spent thousands of dollars on equipment such as metal detectors, excavators, and other tools to aid in his search. He also hired a team of people to help him dig through the mountains of trash at the landfill site. Despite his efforts, James was unable to locate the hard drive. 
In an interview, Mr. Howell point out the incident which occurred when the Columbia Space Shuttle crashed into Earth in 2003. One of its prominent hard drives was burned to a crisp, but its data was recovered. However, they somehow managed to pull out more than 90% of the data. At one point, Mr. Howells saw a ray of hope. He immediately contacted the firm that NASA had hired, OnTrack, it's a Minneapolis-based data recovery company. According to Howells, OnTrack believed that there was an 80% to 90% chance that the data he needed could have been recovered, if the disk hadn't cracked. He was confident he could get his money back as long as that portion of the disk remained undamaged. He talked with prospective investors, and in the end, he worked out a deal with two European businessmen, Roger Ver, an early investor in Bitcoin, and Simon Dixon, CEO of BNKToTheFuture.com, a platform for investing in blockchain and fintech companies, who agreed to fund a rescue mission. Eventually, the landfill site was enormous, and the hard drive could have been buried deep under layers of trash. The conditions at the landfill site were also difficult, with strong winds and heavy rain making the search even more challenging. The ecological risks of digging through a landfill site, which is not a safe or environmentally friendly activity, had to be considered. The hard drive may have been damaged or destroyed by the conditions in the landfill, making it impossible to recover the data. James also considered using the help of artificial intelligence to find the hard drive, but it was not practical as the hard drive was lost in a landfill where it's hard to locate something, and it would be nearly impossible to find the hard drive with AI. He spent countless hours researching new technologies and methods for recovering lost data. Scouring online forums for tips and tricks, and even reaching out to experts in the field for help. Despite the challenges and unsuccessful efforts, James remains determined to recover his lost bitcoins. He views the lost hard drive as a valuable investment that he wants to recover. He also sees it as a challenge that he wants to overcome. He is still hopeful that one day he will be reunited with his lost fortune. But the question remains, will he ever be able to recover his lost bitcoins? And what would you have done if you were in James Howell's shoes? Please comment down your view. I just wish I could go back in time and, and not throw that drive away. Thank you for watching this video on James Howell and how he lost Bitcoin in a dump. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to Coinpedia's channel for more great content on the world of cryptocurrency and the experiences of seasoned investors like James Howell. Until next time. Keep learning.